Good evening. Friends and family of fallen firefighter Daniel Howard have remembered the 37-year-old husband-to-be as a legend and a young man with a big heart. Today, some of his closest mates gathered at his favourite pub to remember some of the good times. A locker room with a missing jacket and helmet. We'll be talking about him forever. Legends. <laughs> Outside the Cobar fire station, the flag flies at half-mast, as the community still in mourning pay their respects. Today, Daniel's closest friends return to his favourite pub to remember some of the good times. Even if he nice bought a new suit for every occasion. occasion. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, we'll just get a new one made. <laughs> Nothing appeared to, to phase him, yet, yet he worried about everything. You know, He worried about his mates, he worried about his family. Didn't worry too much about himself. He always put everyone else first. Yeah. Loved the fireys, loved the job that he did there with them. A weekend Daniel wasn't supposed to be working, ending up costing his life. In what can only be described as a tragic accident, Daniel lost his life after heroically saving three people from inside a burning hotel. The town won't forget him. He's, a, he's an absolute legend and I think he's... He's, he's got himself to that status and that he's never going to leave it. No better mate anyone could wish for, you know, like he, he, was just all, he was just always there, you know, there was never any excuses, he was there. I just want people to remember him for the guy he was. He... His mates laughed about the last minute overseas trips and his generous habit to cover the bar tab. That's what Daniel was like. And that's what he's done people's hearts. I've been here for 30 plus years and I've never seen emotion as much as what he's generated in the last few days in town. Did a lot of things in his 37 years and, and he would be happy with his life when, that, he, that he left it this way. Friends, family and the firefighting community will give Daniel one final farewell with his funeral service to be held in Cobar next week. Phoebe Moore, Prime 7 News.